Hi everyone, it's Regina. Welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you guys about week five and six of my gastric sleeve journey. These two weeks have been harder than the first two. Um, I'm going through, I think, a little bit of a depression and also I'm facing the reality of what the surgery really is. First of all, let me go back a little bit. I actually met on April 30th, my diet, diet team, um, the exercise physiologist, the, um, the, the PA, the physician's assistant, and the dietitian um, for like a two hour long visit. I was just kind of a check-in to see how I was doing and to go over what would be next. So I met with the exercise physiologist and I told her, she said, how are you doing? And I said, well, the last couple weeks have not been really good. And she asked me why. And I said, because I feel dizzy all the time. And she said, oh, let me get your blood, you know, let me take your blood pressure. And so she took it and it was 120 over 58. It was really low. So I was supposed to do like an exercise evaluation to see how, you know, my heart was working, etc. But she didn't feel comfortable because my, I felt dizzy and my blood pressure was so low. So the next thing we did was weigh me and um, I was 283.4, which I was not really happy about because two days prior to that, I weighed myself at home and I was 281. Then I met with the, uh, the phys physician assistant. We took some of my vitals too. She um, had me do a uh, diabetes. Uh, we did my blood sugar and it was, it was fine. She asked me how I was feeling. In general, my stomach is, is good. I'm not throwing up. Um, I'm not having heart palpitations. I'm able to eat food with no problem. Just the dizzy thing. And she asked me about my blood pressure medication and I told her what I was doing. And she got pretty, um, in a good way, upset with me because I had started taking my water pill again and I was on a high dose of lisinopril. Well, because I had lost weight and how the surgery works, I'm not supposed to take a water pill because it dehydrates you. So she said that's most likely the reason why I was feeling dizzy and that I need to stop taking it. And she just said, you know, please listen to what the dietitian says. Make sure you get your protein in. Make sure your water is 64 ounces or more. And I think those symptoms will go away. And so that was her part in it. And that's what I promised her that I would start to do. Then I met with the dietitian and I was all excited thinking, oh, I'm on um, solid foods, which means, you know, I'm, I'm kind of graduated to like eating kind of what I want. Well, no, that's not the case. <laughs> um, I have a list of things and um, there's certain things I still can't have. I can't really have fats at all. So I can have all the meats again, like before. Um, they did add chicken and they did add uh, beef, which I was surprised about because beef is hard to digest. Um, and they also added uh, uh, fresh vegetables. I can have fresh carrots and I can also have like a fresh apple or celery as long as I cut it up really super small and, you know, make sure that I just really, really chew that and get it down. So that was my change. <laughs> and the proportions are still gonna be the same. I'm still only eating an ounce of protein three times a day, as well as two tablespoons of either a fruit or a vegetable. And the vegetables have expanded too a little bit. I can have now broccoli, cauliflower. So that was my big change, which I was sad about. I was thinking, oh, I can have, um, you know, avocado, I can have oils, I can have more cheeses. I still can have cheese but it's either you know the meat or the cheese i can't have both so the reality is for six more weeks that's how i'm going to be eating it's going okay sometimes i feel like i'm in starvation mode i'm not going to lie about it when i look at the portions they're tiny and i will again post pictures here the one ounce and two tablespoons of like i said a vegetable or fruit when i look at it, i think that's nothing i'm I'm never gonna be fooled by that. If I drink my water in the morning, which I started doing, getting at least 20 ounces in, have half a protein shake and then have breakfast, which is a scrambled egg usually for me, and a little bit of fruit. You know what, I 
I'm okay. I'm not super full at breakfast. I'm going to be honest. I'm okay, but I'm not like super full. So I try to just kind of hang in there. My stomach was grumbling today, but I, I, I did what they told me. Also, I forgot to mention my breakfast in the morning is always a, is called a profi, which is uh, two ounces of espresso and two ounces of the premier protein shake, either chocolate or, or caramel. And I love that. And I also add a little bit of Tarani syrups in it to make it taste like extra yummy. So I look forward to that. Throughout the day, like I said, I have to have 64 ounces of water. I've been kind of doctoring it up with um, water enhancers, you know, like um, the crushed water enhancers. And one's really good. It tastes like almost like margarita. So I love it. <laughs> and in the last two days, I've also just been drinking plain water with lemon in it, and it's really delicious. So I'm okay with the water. The protein shakes, I'm still supposed to have two of them. So 64 to 80 ounces of uh, protein, where mo the majority of that is still coming from the protein shakes. And I guess that's where I was disappointed because I thought maybe, maybe my stomach's gonna be able to handle like two ounces of protein, so I only have to have one protein shake, but I think it's just gonna take time to get there. So that's basically how my week's gone. Um, I have felt, I would say since like the third week, week of this journey, to be very honest, this little depression hit me, and I've heard that's that's a common thing. You know, as a food addict, I like because I know that I was. I used to look forward so forward to getting up and having a really good breakfast, having a really good coffee with my breakfast. Now, eating is just kind of something you do. It's not really, it's not really pleasurable, to be honest. And I hope that will change down the road. I mean, it's not bad food. It's just not something that you're just like, ah, oh, I can't wait to eat lunch today or I can't wait, wait to eat dinner. You just do it. And you know what? You, that's what you need. You need to eat to live. Sorry, you need to, yeah, eat to live, not live to eat. And before that's what I was doing. So I think I've lost my best friend. I am married, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm by myself a lot. I don't have children and I don't have pets. And so I'm here by myself a lot. And quite honestly, the food was like my friend, I'm lonely. So I need to figure out a way to fill those gaps in a little bit better. Um, I have been, uh, like I said, the last, since April 30th, so today's the fourth, so five days, I guess, I've, I've cut my, uh, out my water pill and cut my lisinopril down to half. And I don't get the headaches as bad anymore. I am finding that I do have more energy than I used to have a little bit more, not, not tremendous. Um, I can now walk inside the house for 15 minutes, not all at once, but in spurts. And so that makes me happy. Um, I'm able to put my shoes on with no problem before I had a big problem putting them on. I mean, just little things. I can't say anything miraculous has happened, but I, I am starting to feel like slowly a little bit better. Also, the wonderful thing about that is that my blood pressure has gone down and I, maybe I'll be off meds altogether. That would be fantastic. Another great thing that's happened is my um, diabetes blood sugar has gone down so much. It used to be like 150, 170, 200. Now, every day with just taking metformin twice a day, it's like 112. So I'm hoping that when I get more weight off, that I will be completely off medication and in remission for diabetes. I have 40 more pounds to go. I'm now 281.2 today, or sorry, today I was 282.3. So hopefully this week I'll lose weight again. I hope I've kind of been in a stall, like I said, for about a week or two weeks. I don't even know. I'm trying to not let it affect me. I've heard a lot of people go through this. So I'm just trying to do the healthy habits that I'm starting to automatically do, like wake up in the morning, drink my water, automatically have my protein, you know, eat my vegetables three times a day or twice a day and the fruit. Um, and so I haven't had any real issues with that. And I think long term, that's really going to be a benefit for me to get in those habits. And so that's basically my week. It's 
a def definite mental game, all of this. It's not what I thought at all. It's still really hard, if not harder, because there are times when you eat too much and you don't want to move. You feel literally like you're going to throw up. I had that happen to me three times this week. And it was just because I was trying to force myself to drink protein. What I'd like to get better at is having at least one and a half protein shakes before I have my lunch. That's my goal. That way, that way if my stomach is full from all that, then I'm eating less of the food. Right now, I know the priority still is on the protein shakes because you're guaranteed to get the protein in if you drink those. You're not guaranteed by the food because your stomach's not big enough. It's still swollen from the surgery and you can't get the amount of protein and nutrients you need from a normal um, normal amount of food. And that's another thing, you always have to take your vitamins. I take those at night. I don't know why, sometimes I love it. It tastes like a citrus chew, it's great. But if I'm too full and I try to eat it, I've had the foamies a couple times. I haven't thrown up with my vitamin, but I, I've come close. So those are the those are the hurdles, and you just need to be aware of that. Is that if that is something that you think you want to do in the future, you want to get weight loss surgery, you need to really really consider these things because it's it's not a, a, a walk in the park. It's definitely not. You have to be prepared, and hopefully over time, you're, you know the, the theory is your stomach is going to get expand and be the size of like a banana. But right now, it's in between a banana and a cheese stick. So. You can't get a lot in there. And especially if you're drinking the water, you get really full from that. You get full, but then you also have head hunger. Like, I want to eat something. It's a, it's a really weird dynamic. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you're thinking about weight loss surgery, um, keep these things in mind. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon to let you know when the next videos are coming out. I'm trying to do this like every week or every milestone. And hopefully next week I will have better news. Even if I lose a little bit of weight, I'll be happy. Um, but that's where I'm at right now. So I hope everybody has a great and healthy rest of your week. And bye for now. Water. I've been kind of doctoring it up with um, water enhancers, you know, like um, the Crush water enhancers. And one's really good. It tastes like almost like margarita. So I love it. <laughs> And in the last two days, I've also just been drinking plain water with lemon in it, and it's really delicious. So I'm okay with the water. The protein shakes, I'm still supposed to have two of them. So 64 to 80 ounces of um, protein, where mo the majority of that is still coming from the protein shakes. And I guess that's where I was disappointed because I thought maybe, maybe my stomach's gonna be able to handle like two ounces of protein, so I only have to have one protein shake, but I think it's just gonna take time to get there. So that's basically how my week's gone. Um, I have felt, I would say since like the third week, week of this journey, to be very honest, this little depression hit me, and I've heard that's, that's a common thing. You know, as a food addict, I like because I know that I was, I used to look forward so forward to getting up and having a really good breakfast, having a really good coffee with my breakfast. Now, eating is just kind of something you do. It's not really, it's not really pleasurable, to be honest. And I hope that will change down the road. I mean, it's not bad food. It's just not something that you're just like, ah, oh, I can't wait to eat lunch today or I can't wait, wait to eat dinner. You just do it. And you know what? That's what you need. You need to eat to live. Sorry. You need to, yeah, eat to live, not live to eat. And before that's what I was doing. So I think I've lost my best friend. I am married, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm by myself a lot. I don't have children and I don't have pets. And so I'm here by myself a lot. And Quite honestly, the food was like my friend. I'm lonely. So I need to figure out a way to fill those gaps in a little bit better. Um, I have been, uh, like I said, the last since April 30th, so today is the fourth, so five days, I guess. I've I've cut my uh, out my water pill and cut my lisinopril down to half, and I don't get the headaches as bad anymore. I am finding that I do have more energy than I used to have. 
a little bit more, not, not tremendous. Um, I can now walk inside the house for 15 minutes, not all at once, but in spurts. And so that makes me happy. Um, I'm able to put my shoes on with no problem before I had a big problem putting them on. I mean, just little things. I can't say anything miraculous has happened, but I, I am starting to feel like slowly a little bit better. Also, a wonderful thing about that is that my blood pressure has gone down and I, maybe I'll be off meds altogether. That would be fantastic. Another great thing that's happened is my um, diabetes blood sugar has gone down so much. It used to be like 150, 170, 200. Now every day with just taking metformin twice a day, it's like 112. So I'm hoping that when I get more weight off, that I will be completely off medication and in remission for diabetes. I have 40 more pounds to go. I'm now 281.2 today, or sorry, today I was 282.3. So hopefully this week I'll lose weight again. I hope I've kind of been in a stall, like I said, for about a week or two weeks. I don't even know. I'm trying to not let it affect me. I've heard a lot of people go through this. So I'm just trying to do the healthy habits that I'm starting to automatically do, like wake up in the morning, drink my water, automatically have my protein, you know, eat my vegetables three times a day or twice a day and the fruit. Um, and so I haven't had any real issues with that. And I think long term, that's really going to be a benefit for me to get in those habits. And so that's basically my week. It's a definite, definite mental game. All of this, it's not what I thought at all. It's still really hard, if not harder, because there are times when you eat too much and you don't want to move. You feel literally like you're going to throw up. I had that happen to me three times this week. And it was just because I was trying to force myself to drink protein. What I'd like to get better at is having at least one and a half protein shakes before I have my lunch. That's my goal. That way, that way if my stomach is full from all that, then I'm eating less of the food. Right now, I know the priority still is on the protein shakes because you're guaranteed to get the protein in if you drink those. You're not guaranteed by the food because your stomach's not big enough. It's still swollen from the surgery and you can't get the amount of protein and nutrients you need from a normal um, normal amount of food. And that's another thing you always have to take your vitamins. I take those at night. I don't know why. Sometimes I love it. It tastes like a citrus chew. It's great. But if I'm too full and I try to eat it, I've had the foamies a couple times. I haven't thrown up with my vitamin, but I, I've come close. So those are the, those are the hurdles. And you just need to be aware of that. Is that if that is something that you think you want to do in the future, you want to get weight loss surgery, you need to really, really consider these things because it's, it's not a, a, a walk in the park. It's definitely not. You have to be prepared and hopefully over time, you're, you know, the, the theory is your stomach is going to get expand and be the size of like a banana. But right now it's in between a banana and a cheese stick. So you can't get a lot in there. And especially if you're drinking the water, you get really full from that. You get full, but then you also have head hunger. Like I want to eat something. It's a, it's a really weird dynamic. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you're thinking about weight loss surgery, um, keep these things in mind. Also, if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon to let you know when the next videos are coming out, I'm trying to do this like every week or every milestone. And hopefully next week I will have better news. Even if I lose a little bit of weight, I'll be happy. Um, but that's where I'm at right now. So I hope everybody has a great and healthy rest of your week and bye for now.